Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my update for the Beauty A to Z project. So this is a Fantastic for Ladies Club Facebook group project and it was created by Jessica and Amanda. I'll make sure to have their channels linked below and a link to the Fantastic for Ladies Club Facebook group if you'd like to go over there and join. And this project is where you choose a product for every letter of the alphabet. So this update I can roll three items out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with those three items, then I'll talk about the products I've been working on. What I will say is I have not had these standing up directly, so you'll have to trust me that I have hit my goals on these. <laughs> so the first one I've hit my goal on is for the letter B. I brought in the Beauty Crop BFF Brow Friends Forever Brow Gel. And my goal for this was to use half the product and where I deemed half was that that dot there. It actually looks lower than that dot but it isn't. It's pretty much level exactly with that dot. How many times can I say dot? <laughs> so I used it 10 times this update for a total of 80 uses overall. And I think that's pretty accurate. It will mostly take me about 160 uses-ish to finish this um, but my goal was to use half in this project and I've hit that I'm going to bring this into another project I think to completely finish it so the next product is for the letter H and this is a product I finished I brought in the Air Harbour Glow Juice Refining Enzyme Mask and for some reason I definitely wrote my uses down but they I must have accidentally deleted it from my spreadsheet so I don't know how long it took me I want to say it didn't take me more than 10 uses to finish this. It could have even been less. I didn't really like this. I found it a pain to apply. I did keep this in my shower and I just dug my hand in and applied it that way. Yeah, was not a massive fan of this. I would not be interested in getting it again. And then the last thing I finished was for the letter X. And I brought in the We Are Paradox Repair Game Changer Hair Mask. I did quite enjoy this. Not as good as my Garnier favourite. But I did quite enjoy it and I used it one more time this update for a total of five uses overall and it's completely done. I tried to scrape what I could out of it and yeah if I got this in my collection again I would definitely definitely use it but price wise I do think the Garnier ones are cheaper and I do do really enjoy those. What can I say guys? I just I love them. <laughs> I'm sure you get really fed up with me talking about them but I do really like them. So those are the three products I can roll out. Now let's talk about the products I've been working on. I'm working on them all now apart from one. And I really want to try and start working on that one over the next month. So the first thing I've been working on is for the letter C. And I brought in the Cantu Skin Therapy Shea Butter Nourishing Body Cream. I can't see through the packaging. But I'm... I think I'm about here on it now, like I really don't have a lot left. I've used it six times this update for a total of 23 uses overall. I am using three body lotions at the moment though, so I don't know whether I'm going to complete this by next update, but I do think in the next few months I will have this one done. And that's a surprise because I thought this was going to be in a while, um, but I think there was an air bubble in it and it just seemed, it's now just quite low. Like I said, I think, I think it's maybe about here. Ish. I, like I said, I can't see through the packaging, but when I'm feeling, I can feel product here. So, in the next few months, I will have that one done. It's a nice body cream. It's quite thick, though, I will say. It is a pain sometimes when you've already applied it on your hands to try and get it out of the packaging. Because my hands have the product all over it, it's really difficult to squeeze more product out. I do have another product from this brand, but I think it might be a body lotion. Um... But yeah, I will definitely use that one because that is a nice body cream. The next one I have is for the letter G. I started to use this one this update. And it is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food Coconut and Macadamia Hair Mask. So this is the hair mask I talk about all the time. Not this specific scent, coconut. <laughs> I do think I prefer the banana one from what I've tried up to now. Um, but this is the hair mask I talk about because I just really love it. It's so affordable. Some places you can get this for £3.99, which is such a bargain. And this just works wonders with my hair. My hair feels so hydrated. So my goal is to finish this. 
I don't want to go on about it too much because I feel like this is all I talk about. <laughs> I've used it twice for a total of two uses. I can't show you really where it's at because it is quite runny. Um, but I'm about a quarter of the way through. I think this is going to be in for a few months. I think I think this will be in till the finale, which is in December. This project does go from January to December. I think it's the 1st of January to the 31st of December, I think. But yeah, like I said, this one isn't my favourite. I'm not usually a massive fan of coconut scented things. I much prefer the banana one. Um, this one is for frizzy and unruly hair. I find my hair can get quite frizzy, so yeah, I'm happy to use it. Still really, really, really enjoy that product. Just not a massive fan of the scent of it. The next product I have is the is for the letter J, and it is the Jojoba squalene hand cream so i've used it five times this update for a total of 20 uses overall and i reckon see through the packaging now i'm here so i'm halfway i can do this i can get this done by the finale i am going to push myself to do it i need to do it i need to do it <laughs> i am pleased with myself that i'm i've used it five times again i do have it at my work desk with the rest of my products i use so I do try to reach for it as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to get myself back into that routine of reaching for hand cream twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon as a minimum. I'm still not there yet, but I'm really, really hoping I get back into that routine. I think it's just because I'm not, not the biggest fan of that hand cream. The next product I have is for the letter L and I brought in the Luna Vitamin C hyaluronic acid serum so this is my morning serum i'm also using a luna night serum as well so i've used this 12 times this update for a total of 33 uses overall and i was here now i'm here i think that's where i'm at my sticker of the price is blocking it but i do think that's where i'm at if anything i might be i might have marked that a bit high but i am not a massive fan of this find that I have to pat it on my skin and I don't usually, if I'm honest, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I don't usually pat my serum into my skin. I usually just kind of put it on my face like that. But this one, I'm, I have to be really gentle and pat it in, otherwise it leaves a residue on my face and I, I, I just, I don't like it. I think in the next few months, I will have this one done. The next product I have is for the letter O and I brought in the Ordinary Serum Foundation and I have used it four times this update for a total of 25 uses. I said I was going to strictly focus on this and that did not end up happening. I just don't like the way that this foundation looks on my skin within like two minutes. It's already broken apart on my nose. Luckily I do this before concealer so then I can put concealer on my nose to add that bit more coverage. But yeah, I just really, really, really want this done. <laughs> so I am, I'm, I'm here now. So getting there it's still going to be in quite a few months though looking at that progress i do just need to focus on this but I, like i said i just don't really like the way my skin looks with it and um, you can't buy this foundation anymore i've heard it's been discontinued it won't be something i would be interested in picking up again anyway but yeah i think this might be in for a while <laughs> i really want to get it done but I'm just, I also do have other foundations and other projects as well that I'm also trying to get uses on. The next one I have is for letter Q. I started to use this one, this update. This is the Bay Boutonique, I think, Rose Renew Regenerating Facial Oil. So this is my night moisturiser. I've used it eight times this month for a total of eight uses overall. I'm going to mark it because I forgot to mark it. So this was full when I brought it in and I'm now down to here. So looking at that progress, I think maybe three months and I will have this one done. This is all right. It's not my favorite night moisturizer I've used. I absolutely love the Animus one. I feel like now I don't have that. I don't think anything is gonna compare to that, but that is also very, very pricey. But this is all right, I'm happy to use it. I don't think I would go out and buy it again. The next thing I have is for the letter S and I have the Saturday Skin Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. I have used it 12 times this update for a total of 83 uses overall. I do think this is gonna be another eye cream I'm gonna have done soon. I have been working on this though since Feb, I think. 
Feb or March, I've started, I started to work on this and I've been using it consistently as my morning eye cream. I do really like this brand. I fell in love with this product from a sample I tried. I did see this brand, where was it? It was either Cult Beauty or Beauty Bay. I can't remember, but I have seen this brand. It's been sold in the UK. I do like this eye cream and I'll be happy to have another eye cream out of my collection soon. <laughs> And then last but no means least, I have the letter Y and for that I brought in the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Yacht Life. I've used four times this update for a total of 15 uses overall and my goal is to use it 30 times. So this is what it looks like. I really like this blush. Really, really like it. I could quite happily wear this blush alone, but I do put a powder blush on top. I'm halfway to my goal, taking me four months to get halfway to my goal. So this might be until the end of the project as well, or close to the end of the project, but I'm fine with that. This is another product that I don't wear all the time. I only wear this product when I do have time to do my makeup. So that is it. That is my update. Really, really pleased that I can roll three items out. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to have anything else rolled out by next update. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But I don't, I don't think I'll be able to have anything out by next update. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And it would mean the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. And until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.